In a searing indictment of India's failing democratic credentials, the Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance is now having to actively strategize against the threat of the BJP's transnational oppression against citizens of their own countries. Threats that are now taking several forms. In an interview today, the new commissioner for the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, Mike Duhem, revealed he had recently returned from a Five Eyes meeting with colleagues from the UK, Australia, New Zealand and the FBI, DEA and Homeland Security in the US, where the danger of India's increasing tactic to target diaspora Sikhs was discussed. Um, but I, I just came back last week from a Five Eyes meeting. So Five Eyes, for your viewers, involves the UK, National Crime Agency, Australian Federal Police, New Zealand, FBI, DEA, Homeland Security, uh, and uh, one of the topics that popped up is exactly how foreign states now are using organized crime figures uh, to conduct the work in the foreign country, which is an alarming, which is alarming for us, and uh, but it's being felt uh, in our like-minded countries as well. This process of recruiting domestic organized crime groups by the NIA to target Khalistan campaigners within the diaspora has allowed the Indian government to deny any involvement in the murder of Hardeep Singh Najjar, the attempted murder of Gurpatwan Singh Panoon in the US, and several other diaspora killings currently being investigated. However, Commissioner Duhem confirmed that after the arrest of the three Najjar murder suspects, the investigation is now looking at uncovering those very links back to the Indian government. He admitted India had not been cooperative in the investigation, which, as he explained, was indicative of India's historic attempts to pressure Canada into extraditing Najjar and others, despite not being able to provide any evidence of their so-called terrorism. And it, 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 we've had challenges with, uh, with India in, in the past in the sense that uh, they wished uh, that we would act on certain information that they would provide us that would really not really, uh, it wouldn't meet uh, our threshold to commence an investigation. A newspaper clipping is not good enough to commence an investigation. The interview comes after the FBI today has released a warning to the diaspora community in the US, alerting them of the existence of an ongoing extortion scheme deliberately targeting this community. The extortion attempts have usually been demands for large sums of money alongside threats of physical violence or death if the demand was not met. Individuals who in the past have disregarded the demands became victims of violence, including targeted shootings at their residences and vehicles. These threats of violence, again from domestic organized crime gangs, are believed to be another form of transnational repression, which the FBI is keen to identify and deal with. You've been watching Satellite TV News. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button to make sure you get to see stories as they're broadcast. And of course, if you have any comments or opinions on any of our news stories, you can comment below. Or why not drop us a direct message at message at satellitetv.com. We do like to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching for Satellite TV News. I'm Angus Scott in London.